one night, this guy was wandering in his castle. <laughs> this already sounds so fake, I can tell you're just making it up. <laughs> that was so bad. Worse than Joe. <laughs> hey. Oh, Miko. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? You tell a story, please. Yeah, and make it scary this time. <laughs> uh, hmm. Something from down south, where you come from. Well, my father looked down on people who believed in ghosts. Wow, <laughs> tell us about him. He sounds scary. I don't think I ever heard a ghost story, but my mom used to read me folk tales. We'd be happy to hear one of your folk tales. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, okay. There was this one time when something disturbing happened that I've never forgotten. Yes. Now this is the proper way to start a scary story. I was walking home one night on the street a few blocks from where we lived. Every single street light was out, and the only light came from the sliver of moon in the sky. <gasps> I knew the way home, so I wasn't that worried, and I kept going. Then, out of nowhere, I heard a little bell somewhere behind me, like the bell on a bicycle. I turned around thinking someone must be behind me, but no one was there. Mm -hmm. I started walking faster. I was so close to home, but then I heard the bell again. It got closer and closer. Well, you don't have to keep on going if you don't feel like it. Wait, I was just getting to the weird part. <sighs> So, I turned around, but there was nothing there, same as before. Then suddenly, I could hear breathing. It got closer. I heard the bell again. The street lights came on. I could barely breathe. And then, I saw him. What's going on in here? Why do you have the lights off? Uh, we were trying to save electricity. Okay. I think I'm gonna check you guys into a hotel.